Hi, hello, welcome to today's YouTube video. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out, it helps me know that you guys appreciate me being quote unquote back on YouTube. Am I? We don't know. I was uh, editing this video last night and I, uh, my computer kept rejecting the intro clip, so you don't get it. But like I said, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Really happy to have you guys here and let's get into it. I'm getting ready to go into F45. I probably only do F45 classes around two times a week, sometimes three, because I typically myself only train like four to five days a week. I follow my own programming like 80% of the year, but this time of year, I sometimes I just really need like somebody else to create the workouts for me. Like there's just something about when I've created them myself that I feel like I've already done them. So as great as they are, and I love doing my own programming, it really is beneficial like when someone else does it for you. Hence why people do my training program. I'm just kind of waiting on Kelly to get here because we are doing class together and I, don't totally feel like going in without her. I've still got eight minutes before class starts. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Just as an intro for the next clip, it's a clip of me getting adjusted by my friend, Dr. Tony, who is a chiropractor here in St. Louis. I hope you guys enjoy. You ever had like tension headaches or anything like that in the past or no. this year? No, not really. Okay. Not... You feel that? I just feel it feels like heavy in the back of my head. Oh yeah. Do you know so what, I mean? what I'm doing there is I'm trying to glide the the base of the skull on this bone right here. And so that suboccipital area, which is below the skull and around that bone right there, um, that area can get tight and like some tension and the muscles down here are very very sensitive to tension mm -hmm. uh, and they can create headaches and stuff too. Okay. Just from like a 10,000 foot perspective there's usually mobility patients and then stability patients and when you're getting a lot of tension here sometimes it can be because something else isn't stable yeah. and so there's a lot of stuff you can do to take away the pain and to open up that side of things, but then stabilizing it after is really the, the big key. What I'm doing here is I'm using acupuncture needles um, and, and basically taking that needle and plugging it into the muscle that's tense to create a relaxation reflex. So essentially what it does is it uh, will almost press control alt delete on the muscle to get things to kind of reset and relax decrease some of that spasm. And then after that, you also see some pain release too. So lean back, trust fall. Oh! <laughs> Boom! How'd it feel? Fabulous. I feel so much better already, honestly. You feel taller? Yeah, I feel taller. I don't feel like I want to just feel like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, one thing that you can do is that little peekaboo exercise where okay. you're breathing really long. That's gonna be good for those, and it's also gonna be good at shutting down some of that. Hi, booty doo. Booty dooty, my little egg boy. Bruiser has gained so much weight since being on steroids because he actually has an appetite, whereas before I would give him like a cup of food in the morning, or a bowl of food in the morning, like two cups, and I would come home and it would still be in his bowl. And then I would so I'd come home and he would finally eat it and then I would be like, well, it's you've only, that's all you've eaten, so I'll fill it back up. And then he wouldn't eat that. So he was really only eating like half of what he should have been eating. Um, and now he's eating like twice as much. So he's gained a little bit of weight and his hair has literally stopped falling out swear to god i don't know if like the steroids made his hair stop falling out or like because he's eating up in a food now because he has an appetite it has stopped falling out look at this cutie butt you're just cute you're so cute you're so cute you're so handsome i love you so much um okay so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my closet walk you through the guest bathroom which is gross because just jeff's bathroom that he uses in the morning for his business Okay, so this is my closet now. It's literally twice the size of the other one. I will not put my hand in front of it because otherwise it's just going to focus on just my hand. So lovely. Um, immediately we walk in, you've got my a bunch of my athletic wear and stuff is in here in these little dressers. And what's down in there is in our dresser in the room. 
These tops are all like balance tops, tops that I wear to the gym um, on the regular. So like little quarter zip guys, these little like shrug tops, a few go random ghost tops. I just, usually I fold these and like roll them away, but whatever. These are like newer. So newer stuff that's out, that's like still in stock. I try to keep out because I'm like, oh, remind people these are still in stock, whatever. Um, and then I've also got, these are all my blazer tops. So just a bunch of neutrals. What else is new? These are my winter dresses, so mostly just knits and then like some sparkly stuff and then also like some silky stuff that just tends not to be a summer dress. Then we've got purses back there and then these are just a bunch of like summer crop tops and stuff like that. There are some like more wintry crop tops and then just like nicer. So it's like top like crop tops that I like just lounge around it and then like nicer ones that I could wear out so like you know just random stuff from that Revolve has gifted me like stuff that's just nicer you get it and then some bodysuits I don't have that many bodysuits are in there and then um short sleeve tops right here long sleeve tops and then we've got a few of my matching sets so that's what that is pretty much like from their back is matching sets it's like the thing I own most of for sure like when brands want to work with me I always freaking pick out a matching set and then we've got like flannels and jackets and then these dresses are like summer dresses and then nice dresses so things like a dress that I wore in Vegas and then like dresses to wear to weddings stuff like that um, that's how I had that organized and then I don't have anything down there this stuff is all to donate. I just haven't quite figured out where I'm going to donate it to yet here. These are literally, minus these two on top, these are all ghost hoodies that they've sent me over the years. And then these are just like neutral ones. But honestly, a lot of a lot of my clothes are gifted. Like at least 70% of my closet is gifted stuff. Um, this stuff is also for donations. And then we've got a lot of shoes. I also have a lot of shoes in my office. Probably shoes that I wear like the most are in my office for styling stuff. And then we've got pants, a lot of like leathery um, Abercrombie pants and like trousers and stuff. And then just some random knits, skirts, uh, shorts, that's what those are called. And then that's pretty much it. My backup camera, hats, like beanies, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and then the rest of, my, rest of my shoes, like I said, I keep in my office because I film... Um, any styling videos that I have to do, like, for brands, I'll style pretty much in front of, like, this clothing rack right here. Um, and then I like to just have my shoes that I could potentially wear already in the office so that I'm not, like, going back and forth from my closet. I'm just trying to kill time, really, before, uh, before we have to order some food. So, I'm gonna order that, and I'll see you guys in a little bit, probably show you guys the food. When it gets here, I think we're going to order from Espino's. I still haven't found a really... I mean, I like Espino's, but... <clears throat> I haven't found, like, a really good Mexican restaurant here that I'm like... Oh, my God. I'm obsessed with their food. It's so good. You know what I mean? Like, for me in Nashville, that was Saint and Ajo. Not that... That wasn't really, like, Mexican-Mexican food. It was more like, um... Tex-Mex. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It was, like very more like fresh like there's no refried beans any of that stuff it is more like southern california I don't, I don't know how to describe it like what's the word for that i don't know let me know down below if you know what i'm talking about anyway i'm gonna go stop rambling because my throat is actually starting to hurt from talking so much on camera oh and tomorrow did i say this already but tomorrow i'm getting a little bit of filler added back into my top lip because i just feel they just feel kind of small you know they just feel like a little I'm just, I'm just ready for a little bit more volume. Just a little bit. Like, fucking before I had like six vials of filler on there, undissolved. So, we're not going crazy. I'm gonna, I'll vlog it. I'll bring my camera. And, uh, that's pretty much it. See you guys in a little bit. Jeff got the steak. <laughs> you can't see it. Steak, chicken, and shrimp fajitas. I just got chicken. And then um, he doesn't get, where is it? He doesn't get cheese or sour cream. He's not a big cheese and sour cream guy, but I am. And then we just got a giant thing of guac and chips. And then I got flour tortillas and then Jeff got corn tortillas. So that's what we're having for dinner. And none of it is for you, Nashi boy. Nope, none of it's for you or your little waggy tail. None of it's for Bruiser.
Okay, yesterday I got lymphatic drainage. I don't know if I told you guys that. I feel like I probably rambled about it quite a bit. So I got lymphatic drainage yesterday and today I'm feeling really good. I already worked out this morning. Um, just like slow weights. I'm just not supposed to sweat or like have a lot of heat. So I can't sit in a sauna for quite a bit, probably like a week or so. Um, I just don't want to cause any like extra inflammations or my hair is very gross. Um, when I'm not going to go anywhere, I just don't do my hair or my makeup. Cause like, what's the point, you know, like let the skin breathe, let the hair breathe. No reason to just like do my hair just for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Anyway, my filler girl canceled on me because she's stuck in another state. Her flight got canceled. So I'm going to go in next week and get that done. And that's pretty much it for the day. I'm just going to work from home all day. I've just got a bunch of housekeeping things, emails, stuff for my CPA. I need to send him because we have our monthly meeting tomorrow. And goal for 2022 is really to do a YouTube video every single week. Like really, truly, really, truly sticking to that. I get very inside of my head. I know they talk about that all the time, but I get very inside of my head. And it's like, I don't know if I should talk about that. Should I talk about the fact that I get inside my head and my insecurities? Or would people rather just me like pretend that those insecurities aren't there? I don't know. So I just got back from Target and I picked up a bunch of magazines for a vision board. So I'll show you what we're working with. I picked up um, cause honestly, one of my goals this year is to really get my nutrition on point. I definitely ate a lot more fruits and vegetables this last year, like more than I ever have. And then I also just wanted to do like some specific, I really don't know where I'm going with this. I'll show you guys my vision board when I'm done. I just got like some fitness ones cause that's like just most relevant to me. And then like some house goals type of stuff. I'm sure that you guys recognize this spot as where the um the intro was. God words are hard. So Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to go ahead and show you my final um, vision board. Give you guys a little sneak peek prior to my Instagram people. I haven't shown them yet. It's hard to explain. It's kind of like explaining tattoos, right? Like they're meaningful to you. And then when you explain it to other people, it like sounds dumb. <laughs> um, so over here is a little bit more focused on like nutrition. They These are just like some reminder quotes of like, you know, why a vision board is important, um, et cetera. We've got some like brand collabs that I would love to do, a Glow V2 ingredients I would like to use, just like some personal style, um, you know, like inspiration right there. Some like self, uh, not self-help, what is the word I'm looking for, bruiser? Self-improvement, like treatment stuff, things like so self-care. Wow, self-care is the word, like salt rooms, salt lamps. Um, there's like a red light thing over here. This is basically the whole travel section is right here. Something I would like to do a lot of this year, especially after finally quitting my job and having like time to travel and the ability to work from anywhere. I would really like to focus on traveling a decent amount, taking the boys when we can. We're going to Florida in, um, in April and we're bringing the dogs. And then just focusing on reading more, investing, and that's pretty much it. These are things I'm aiming towards. Yes, sure, this calendar year, but they're also just things that if I don't achieve this calendar year, I'm at least like striving towards them. Um, I have on there like some stuff related to being an esthetician. And I'm like, yes, while that is my focus, some things have gotten in the way of that recently. So I'm just like still working towards that maybe in a different route. So I'm just, um, you know, being kind to myself with my goals, like trying to be realistic and then I feel like with a vision board, you have to focus on like the big picture, but also remember that the there's tons of small steps you have to take to get there. So vision boards are not great for everybody. They can be a great tool, but I definitely, I feel like seeing things every day helps you remember like what's important to you. It really helps hold you accountable. Hope that all makes sense. I hope that you found that to be useful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.